Uh, and that's why the city and county of Denver, they are activating the cold weather shelter plan. Our very own Greg Perez is live with the latest. Greg, you're outside. You're a meteorologist. It's a cold morning out there. Do you, is it breezy or is it pretty calm? Because that always <laughs> makes it worse. Right. Uh, yeah, Kirk, it's actually pretty calm. We have very light winds this morning, but it's not very gusty because those wind chills certainly can factor into this equation. We're talking about the cold. We're talking about more shelters opening up from the city of Denver because of the cold weather. And starting at one o'clock this afternoon, they will be opening up a couple of more shelters, too, as that cold air sticks around. So the Department of Housing Stability is set to provide extra shelter from one o'clock today up until 11 a.m. tomorrow. The city state that individuals in need of a shelter should go to the city's front door shelters access points, which have also expanded uh, capacity for the cold weather. Front door shelters include for men, Denver Rescue Mission on Lawrence Street Community Center, 2222 Lawrence Street. For individual women, the Samaritan House on 2301 Lawrence Street. For youth age 15 to 20, you can go to Urban Peak, 1630 Acoma Street. Um, I'm actually stationed there right now. And families in need of a shelter can call the Connection Center at 303-295-3366. Shelters will also be available at the Stone Creek Shelter, formerly the Best Western Hotel, and at city facilities located at 2601 West 7th Avenue and 275 South Zunai Street. So this happens a decent amount in Denver, especially as we start to uh, finish up fall, wrap up the last couple of weeks of fall and head into the winter time months. I know Kylie's been talking about it all morning long. It's certainly chilly out here. We'll get a little bit warmer during the day, but overnight will be very, very cold. So if you're one of those people in need of a shelter, please make sure to use all of the uh, shelters that are available to you and use the resources that are available to you as well in order to stay warm. Reporting live in Denver, Greg Perez, Fox 31 News. All right, Greg.